Hello there buddies and welcome to a, a Crows 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 game. I believe it's called the Temple of No. We'll find out in a minute. These are the guys that did the Dr. Langskov game that I did a full playthrough of some odd weeks ago. Um, Yeah, I actually don't know anything about this game. It's just a, a free little game. Sorry, I got an itchy face all over. This is just a free game that they've uh, suddenly put out. So I, I really don't know what to expect. Apparently, it includes visuals and audio. Always great. Uh, speakers on, mandatory, headphones recommended. Got you covered, right. This game is made in twine. Click the underline where it's play. Don't know why I'm holding this hand up here. Um, hello. This story may frighten and disturb you, but if you have a strong stomach, a smart brain box, and a cool face... Then perhaps you're brave enough to hear it. Uh, uh, my face cool? We'll just go anyway. They don't need to know. Ooh. Perhaps you're brave like a storm, a bear, a sailor. I, uh, I'm i brave like a bear. No, brave like a bear. Rawr. Enough of that. This isn't about you. Anyway, are you ready? Yes. Good. This is a story that took place a long time ago. It's a good one. Okay. Dude, what happens? Anyway, let's get this old dusty tome and hear of this fantastic tale. It's called... A Big Fat Book. That was louder than expected. <laughs> like a bear. <laughs> the Brave Explorer. Oh, that's me. Like a bear. The Jungle of Doubt, the Temple of No. Okay. They really like their long titles, these guys. Presented by Cross Cross Cross. Let us begin. Okay. This is a magical book. Its magical power, or magic power, is to be incredibly relatable. Are you a woman, a bloke, or a frog? Think. By some definitions, I'm a bloke. So Charles started his adventure in the way he often started his adventures, in the field outside his house picking daisies. He'd pick five or six, weave them into a little tiara for his daughter, he'd always, uh, for the daughter he always wanted, and, wait a sec, this is sounding like a run-of-the-mill generic twine. This isn't a story about daisies or lost loves. Let's turn a couple of pages and get to the good stuff. I don't know what happens, what happens if I click twine? Oh. Twine. A twine is like a game, but for teenagers who want to be in the past. Okay. Turn page. The withered trees of his backyard. He'd missed the, his dark-haired love every day of his life since he... Nope, keep going. <laughs> the autumn leaves would soon fall. He, th he thought then upon his old... Oh, he thought... He thought then upon... His old primary school, in which his headmaster had always said, Nothing lasts for it. Yeah, right, keep turning. Turned to ash. The frogs hopped around in the pond, and as he moved slowly on, his parents' his parents' words came again to him. Remember the explorer's oath? Look out, don't touch, fuck's sake. I swear this gets good soon. <laughs> I love the writing of these. The dog yapped and yapped. Its owner shouted, Beak! Yeah, its owner shouted, Beaker, be still, like a roar. Arr. Charles knew this woman would never cease to... We must be nearly there. The baboon gave a mighty screech and tore upon his face like a primate uh, threshing machine. Keep going, is this not the good stuff? Wait, 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 go back one. I was going to say, hi. What can I do? Oh, I see. I was supposed to scroll down. Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, wait. Wait. No, it was just explaining how Charles lost his eye. It says he fought a baboon and on one of his on one of his early adventures. Sorry. Turn. That's... <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> Fucking jungle transition and audio. You notice this. Depression quest didn't have this. Okay. Right, let's go right into the story. Charles entered the du the jungle of doubt on his journey to find the map that sees all things that. Huh? 
Is that supposed to be shouted? The map that sees all things that ever have been or will be! But in map form. The map was legendary, and the old tales spoke of it. What tales? Yeah, you know, the old tales. Yeah. Anyway. So Charles knew he proper wanted the map. <laughs> <laughs> to tell him the secrets of the universe. Sorry, I just love the wording. <laughs> he brought the map back to civilization. He would truly... If he brought the map back to civilization, he would truly achieve greatness. He knew it in his warm, fleshy human heart. The temple that held the map was close. Charles, look up. Down. All around. Okay. Up. Up at the mossy green leaves of the giant jungle trees that reached high above him, they spread out and sometimes could barely see the sun. Oh, and you could barely see the sun. I, my eyes can't keep up with my mouth. He was, <laughs> he was in the heart of the jungle, and he knew his prize was near. Down at the ground, he didn't know why he was looking down, but he could see some dirt and a bit of gum wrapper some tourist or jungle resident had left on the floor. Clean up your litter, clid, clids. Clids. Don't pollute the environment. Well said, that man. All around at the jungle surrounding him, he had to cut through the leaves and bush and flora and jungle debris in order to get to the temple that he was going to. As Charles cut through the, lo the lives, the leaves, and brush and flora and jungle debris, he thought about some shit, <laughs> sang a little song, considered the possibility that life was futile. I'm going to sing a little song. Oh, you the player must sing along to the background music with these lyrics. If you don't, well, if you don't, you will know that you have let yourself down and you don't really fucking enjoy this game. It will be because you didn't put in the effort. Okay. Does this just repeat? Cutting the leaves <laughs> Pushing past the trees I am slashing away at these Brush, flora, and jungle debris My name is Charles and I'm singing a song I take the time while I travel along The path to the temple of No. That is where I'm gonna go I can keep messing up. I am pushing past the trees. I am slashing away at these bush, floor, and jungle debris. Going on adventure today. This game is really, really fun to play. Twine games can be fun, I will shout. Check out me singing in the jungle of doubt. I am cutting the leaves. <laughs> I am pushing past the trees. I am slashing away at these bush, flora, and jungle debris. Soon I'll be at the temple of no. It's got lots of treasure and I'm going to go. Take some back to my hometown. Keep it for myself and not share any around. Pop that up. The leaves I am pushing past the trees I am slashing away at these Bush, floor, and jungle debris If you didn't sing the song What's that? Oh, that's not what If you didn't sing the song Then you know you, you've let yourself down You need to let yourself have fun in life Don't try and be so serious If you didn't sing the song Please scroll back up and try again um, If you did sing the song, well done you're cool now. I kind of did it. <laughs> Charles wasn't there yet. He still had much more jungle to cut through. So he... Thought about some shit. Charles thought about how his feet were hurting him a bit. He wished he'd bought some Geox shoes. The shoes that breathe. TM. He continued to think. Charles thought about how his nose was itchy. He thought... Uh, if he'd bought Geox shoes. The shoes that breathe. TM, he would likely have had such comfortable feet that he wouldn't have bothered him by a meager nose itch. He continued to think, Geox, the shoes that breathe. 
Okay. Are they a real thing? I have no idea. He considered the possibility that life was futile. Charles thought about the futility about futility for a while. Then he remembered that he wasn't it wasn't any fun to think about Oh Then he remembered that it wasn't any fun to think about and so he thought about a frog doing a little dance. <laughs> yeah do 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 Yeah, frog dance! <laughs> Finally, Charles stopped imagining things. What a weirdo. Okay. He did it all. Thought about some shit, sang a little song, considered about the possibility that love is futile. Yes, light! Ooh. Charles emerged from the jungle and saw... The Temple of No. Charles marveled at, it, at its magnificence. If I could talk, it would help. Probably built by the Aztec dude. Like, like that is big. Anyway, we're not going to get anywhere just sitting around here getting ex giving exposition, getting expositional. Let's climb some stairs. Up, up, up. The stairs. We go. And then, the temple! Right, so it's the temple time, eh? Remember the explorer's oath? Look, don't touch. Charles carefully walked down the dusty and or spooky corridor of the temple, being extra careful not to touch anything. He arrived in a large hall with three doors. Three. Three doors. Three. Three. That's one plus two. Three doors. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love you, William. Right, it's selection time, everybody. Left, middle, or anti-left? Um, I'm quite partial to anti-left. Being anti-left-handed. Oh, dude, in this room there's a bunch of snakes having a pool party. Remember that game, Snake? Remember how it actually, uh, how it actually, uh, how it had actual gameplay? Can't make snake and twine, can you? Ah, uh, no. But let's talk to the snakes. Hey, snakes! Yeah, they seem to be having a cool time. No treasure in here, though, unless you count a bunch of snakes as treasure. Which I personally don't. Yep. So that's... So that was the spooky snake room. Sorry if it got scared. If you got scared. Back in here, I guess? Uh, well, let's go left, then. Oh, wow. It's the spike room. Remember Spike Milligan? Nope. Good. That's not good. Spike Milligan was awesome. Webster's Dictionary defines Spike as a large, a very large nail, or 2A, one of a row of pointed irons placed as on, as on the top of a wall to prevent passage, B, one of several metal projections set in the sole of heel of a show to impro... Wait, that doesn't apply here. Okay, I don't think there's anything in this room. Hmm, I guess we should turn back around. I think it's middle time. So Charles entered the big old big room. Okay, wow. More stairs in here. Let's climb. Climbing up. 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 Yes! Remember back at the start of this toying game when you picked Sailor, Storm, blah blah blah? Those, those are good times. Oh. Wait, wait, wait! No, no! Boulder, run away, dude! Run! Oh, there's danger! Real present danger! Are you excited? Scream if you want to progress to the next section of the game! Ah! Finished? <laughs> I wonder what my neighbors think. <laughs> so no doors led to the right path. Can no door truly bring us what we want in life? Perhaps that is the meaning of this tale, that you can go through a jungle, sing a song, climb some boring stairs, check a bunch of rooms, and still never find what you were looking for. Wow. Makes you think, eh? Makes you think. The end? Oh wait! No, there's another door over to the right! 
Let's do it. This is it's the anti anti left. Charles entered the door and found the great leader's chamber. The fuck are you? On the seat was. Oh, hello, sir. Come on in. Come on in. Right. So, um, hello. Um, nice to meet you. Nice. Uh, hello. Uh, sorry. One sec. Let me just. Uh. Uh. Right. Um. Um, okay, uh, so, yeah, nice, no, no, hello, right, hello, my name is, my name's fucking Keith, right? I'm pretty sure you're William Pugh. And I am... <laughs> Said at the start. Uh, well, uh, I'm the guy in the throne, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the bloody, bloody Aztec god. <laughs> um, funny, funny story, you look like you kind of come from civilised society, I think, um, but... Yeah, so I, um, funnily enough, used to be a shoe salesman, you know, I sold, um, you know, shoes, I, I sized people's shoes down, um, you know, down, down, down Halifax Market, you know, for, you know, sort <laughs> Sorry, of, I'm you listening, because, you know, measuring them, tell you what size I just you love are, William you know, Pugh's sure humour. Well, uh, that's for um, the map. <laughs> this angered well, the great leader, you know, TM. Okay, um, so Charles decided to... Sorry, I am really sorry, but, um, that... You can't have the map, okay? He doesn't um, sound angry. So, sorry, there's been a bit of a uh, miscommunication here. Um, the map, old artifact of the temple, okay? Predates me. Predates me. Predates, predates me. A whole load of people, you know. Um, only on. So the Charles map. decided to kill him. So, so. That's a bit extreme. But little did you know, in killing the great leader, TM. He would become the great leader, TM. And... And violate the explorer's oath. No! We touched. How could Charles have forgot the explorer's oath? It was tre importante. <laughs> Apparently that's my French. <laughs> I haven't done French for... 16 years. Leave me alone. Wow, I'm old. That's almost half my life. Now, <clears throat> as his new great leader loyalists approached him, ready to worship him as their new god, Charles had to decide right here, right now, if he would break vows and totally be uh, just be a cool ruler in the jungle, or grab the map and escape to civilization. <laughs> um... Should we be totally cool? No, let's run. Let's take the map and go. Bye, see, bye. And that's what he did. That's what Charles did. Or should I say... That's what I did. Dum dum dum. That's, that's right, fools. I'm old Charles. And that shit happened to me. <laughs> I don't know what lessons I learned or if I learned any lessons at all. But I got the map. I got it. There it is. And it's given me many pieces of insight. And because you've heard my tale and listened to my words of wisdom, I will tell you one piece right now. What? Well, and listen to my words of wisdom, I will tell... Okay. The wisdom is... Have you ever played a good game made in twine? Like, one that's actually good, not just good for a twine game? That's it. It's the end. Thanks for playing. Um, okay, designed and illustrated by Dominic Jan. Jan? Is it Jan or Jan? Johan. Johan? I'm sorry, Dominic. <laughs> and written and voiced by William Pugh. I fucking love William's humour. <laughs> Produced by Kevin Patterson, the host is on HIO. Ambient sounds by Free Sound and Sound Snap. Free Sound. I actually don't know Sound Snap. Should it come to me? Well, I do sounds for a living. I literally do. Oh well. I'm working on more games right now and we'd love to tell you all about them. If you sign up, go there. If you want to, guys, go and sign up to them because I I am. <laughs> I fucking love these guys. So far, the Dr. Langskov and, I've and this one have both got really good humour in it and it's just generally enjoyable. And they're both free. So you can't really argue. In my opinion. 
So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this, and feel for I'll, there'll be a link in the description if you want to go and go through it yourself. I think I've pretty much exhausted all the options apart from the very ending, but I won't go back and do it for you. I'll leave something for you guys if you do want to go play it. Completely up to you. Yeah. So that's uh, another Crows, Crows, Crows game. Apparently they're working on a secret, or have been working on a secret project. They've been working on the game for the past two years, and there's supposed to be some news coming out about it soon, so look forward to that. Anyway, again, let me go, let me, let me guys know what think. <laughs> let me know what you guys think. And uh, thank you for watching. I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.